Right. We're gonna stick the body on, aren't you? Take it off because it was a bit flat the other day. A rust in there, we said easy. I'm not gonna bolt it in. No sense. I'm not even gonna put a spanner on it. Let's push it on. Should be good now. Should start. Oh. Right. So not exactly sure what you can see. Can see anything at all? It's not been started in a month for this thing. Feel good seems to have stuck at the uh... fuel gauge seems to have stuck at full. I can assure you this thing is not full. He's a bit damp as old Roger. It's because he's been sat and he hasn't been running. Um, I put new brakes on him and I haven't moved them since. Brakes are working quite good on it. Although I'll probably have to have a look at the handbrake. Uh, probably will have to have a look at the handbrake. I'll watch it on to the front of all now. Seems to hold. 
not sure whether it's right side or left side that's hanging on, but I know one side's hanging on. But there was new bricks, there was a handbrake cable, handbrake cable, there was new pads and discs and calipers put on the rear. He's had new discs, not new discs, sorry, new calipers put on the front. So, um, I need the plastic for here. Anybody knows where to get one from, give us a shout. Um, I've noticed we've got a wee bit of water ingress still over here. Still not that happy about it. It's going all green again, hence the reason the dam. Uh, got a crack on the windscreen, it's just appeared up here. Probably cope with the clown and his fucking crazy bitch of a wife. Chuck a stone at it, wouldn't be surprised. Um, the headline is just damp. It's damp here. We've had some heavy, heavy rain. So, it doesn't help matter. Uh, Put the handbrake on, so we can go. Um, sorry if you're gonna hear me. Um, I hope you can't hear me. and drive off with a handbrake on it. That's partial man. And we still got all lights all working. Side lights. Then we have a side light out on that side. Oh, well, that's a very dim one there. Then. Well, we're very dim. Uh, right. I'm going to switch to my other camera now. Okay, um, I'll speak to you in a second. Hello folks, it's going to be a bit hard to see me, but I'm going to say, put that down there and make up some better. Uh, Coke with a clown in his house coat. He's in bed, been in bed with the wife. So... Coat was a fruit cake. Uh, so there's a few jobs left to tie up in this thing, uh, mechanical wise. Mechanical wise, I'm going to have to ground the brakes. Um, I've kind of neglected them for a wee while because I've been doing other things trying to bring some money in. Um, so, but I'm looking at, well, I'm going to have to try and sort out that leak. The windscreen crack up there doesn't really bother me, I mean, it's minor details. I did price a windscreen for this thing, it was over £500 for a windscreen. Um, I wasn't up to spending 500 quid on a windscreen without a car, a car that hasn't got a test. So, but, uh, uh, we'll uh, sort that out, we'll put a test in it, hopefully. I'll need to have a look at that fuel gauge because that fuel gauge just does not look right. Um, 
I was hoping the back demister was going to work on that uh, window, but it doesn't really seem to be doing anything. Uh, by the way, we're sitting here with no handbrake on now, just in case, you know, people think I'm crazy around here anyway. <laughs> Put the heater on slowly. I did put fuel on this thing, but um, I put seven liters in it. And then he had, uh, it was above the red, so I probably had about five liters in it. Some of these, all I noticed, I didn't tighten the, the battery down, but that's just in case I have to take it back out again. It's not. There's no other reason other than that, you know. I was using the uh, wee uh, GoPro GoPro thing that I've got there. Um, I need to get an air bulb for this door, so there's not a, a necessity. I've got an exhaust that was sent up kindly by uh, Rusty Love at uh, Classic Carbs. So the poor old thing feels really damp inside. Uh, as I say, I kind of neglected it, you know, so I won't fault. Sorry about the squeaky wipers. Um, I kind of neglected them. I was going to take Tina out for a run the day, but she doesn't really fancy going anywhere. Uh, so I said I'd sort Roger out references. We're running them up to temperature on that. She was more more wanting to do, make sure that he would still move. I think I need to put some air in the tyre as well. The front of the driver's side seems to have a slow leak in it. Good, get him out. Doesn't sound bad considering we bodged that exhaust on me and Mick. We just bodged it on as temporary. As I say, the handbrake does work. Uh, I'm not really keen on leaving any car with a handbrake on, though. Uh, we'll start rolling forward in a minute. Uh, so, basically, all I've got left to do to Roger is that leak. I need to do something about that leak, it needs to be addressed. 
um, the exhaust, bit of heat shield um, that needs to be addressed too, uh, and then just a general tidy up. I'll be ready for MOT. I'm reluctant to put it through a test just now because winter's coming in and well, winter coming in. Sorry, I've just put the fans on at the front, try and get rid of some of the condensation. Um, I'm reluctant to put through an MOT at the moment because of the salt, the salt weather or not, it's probably just going to kill them. Uh, uh, I'm not really kind of bulbs and things like that, I suppose, but that's not really that big an issue, you know. Um, I'm just looking at it there to see if I'm moving, but I don't think I am. Uh, um, so. Kind of did do some work on these fans, these blowers, because they're all vacuum operated and that, eh? And there was absolutely nothing. Although now, oh, he's. Is it, he, he, he's lovely, I mean, uh, there's a cracking heat coming off him and that. And, you know? So. There's nothing wrong with them like that, the windows are probably a bit, oh, they're a bit stuck. That beep beep's just a... Add the battery off it, you see. See. Maybe the battery off it, you need to reset the windows. That's a bit of a pain in the ass. So window switches, electric signal, seem to be working here like... Uh, it's just a case of moving it back and forth again until it frees itself off. Uh, Problem with leaving any cars lying. Doesn't matter where they where they are you live. I suppose it does if you live in the, the states. You probably don't have the problem with the damp and that. You know, although I don't know. I mean, uh, I do know over here. This damps is a major issue in the islands of Scotland, like. Uh, so. There isn't a lot I can do about it at the moment. I don't have a workshop that I can put them in. If I had a workshop I could put them in, I'd whack them in a the workshop and just leave them there, eh? You know, and be sitting in the workshop for the winter. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, just now it's just a case of I can do what I can do, eh? You know, oh, that's uh, the big fan come on because I've just switched the. Uh, I don't know. Uh, just can do what I can do, and that's it, guys. Eh? You know, I've had to turn some cars over and that to make some money, to spend some money. Uh, it's just one of those things. And while I've done that, I've neglected Roger, and kind of feel a bit bad about it now, like. But well, it's just one of those things. Uh, I'm sorry, it's just a bit of a vloggy video this week. There's really been, weather's been pretty crap. Today's okay, it's been a nice day of the day. It's quite cold. Uh, I'm glad I've had Roger started. And uh, I'll try and keep on top of him, keep his up to date on the starting of him and stuff like that. I hope you've enjoyed this little video and we'll see you all in the next one. So, thanks very much for tuning in. Please remember, just leave us a like.